Hi, my name is Ben. I work for the Game House, and today we're going through the Monday Night Football schedule for 2023. I did one of these for the Sunday Night Football schedule as well, and I know what you're thinking. This is lazy content, but at this point, I'm just looking forward to the season, so let's just talk about what games excite me, what games don't. Week 1, Buffalo versus the Jets. That is absolutely the best kind of opener you could hope for. Aaron Rodgers with his new team. Bills looking to prove that they're still at the top of the AFC East. What else could be said other than everyone's going to be tuning into that one? Saints at Panthers. Not really interesting in that other than to see what Bryce Young looks like and what Derek Carr looks like on his new team. Browns at Steelers, two teams that are probably going to be fighting for third in the AFC North, but third place in the AFC North could make the playoffs this year. So this is something to look back on when we get further into the season. Eagles at Buccaneers, if you're interested in Baker Mayfield and what that defense can still look like and what Mike Evans can still look like with his huge streak of 1,000 yard seasons, that could be exciting to you, but maybe not a marquee matchup. Rams at Bengals, Super Bowl rematch, of course, but the Rams have taken a huge step back and honestly could be positioning for Caleb Williams. Falcons at Jaguars, Jaguars should probably already have a sizable lead in the AFC South at this point, but the Falcons are sort of just looking to see what they have in Bijan Robinson, Kyle Pitts, and maybe even Desmond Ritter. So if you're an NFC South fan, maybe keep an eye on that one. Week four is Seahawks at Giants. Does Geno Smith still have it? Does Brian Dayball continue his success that he's had with Daniel Jones? How does Darren Waller look if you're interested in that? Week five is Packers at Raiders. This is interesting because Devontae Adams will be going up against his old team. How does Jimmy Garoppolo look? Are the Raiders also going to be positioning for Caleb Williams. Interesting to see if Jordan Love is any good too. Week 5 should be about the time that we know. Cowboys at Chargers, not a conference matchup, but two of the best teams in the league who can make surprise bids for the AFC Championship game. San Francisco 49ers at Minnesota Vikings. Vikings need this kind of win to stay at the top of the NFC North. Niners are one of the best teams in the league, bar none, so that'll be a difficult challenge. Raiders at Lions. Are the Lions also fighting for the top of the NFC North? I already talked about the Raiders and what they could be doing. Are they actually going to be any good? Week 8 is about the time we should know about that. Chargers at Jets. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers is going to be all over this schedule because he's with his new team. How does he go up against that Khalil Mack pass rush that he had to face so many times while he was with the Packers? How does Justin Herbert look with that brand new contract under his belt, running with heavy pockets? Broncos at Bills. Bills should win that one pretty handily. Not really interested in that one. And then obviously week 11 is one of the matchups to look forward to the most. The Super Bowl rematch, Eagles at Chiefs. Eagles and Eagles fans think that that game was decided by the referees, not the players, so they're going to have something to prove, and the Chiefs obviously are going to want to prove they were going to win that game no matter what, so Super Bowl rematch always has to be among the most interesting. Bears at Vikings, just a little divisional matchup there. Are the Bears going to be any good? We don't know, but if you're an NFC North fan, sure. Bengals at Jaguars. This is actually hugely interesting to me personally. I'd love to see how far ahead the Jaguars are in the AFC South at this point, how far ahead the Bengals are in the AFC North, or if they're fighting against the Ravens. Even though it's not a divisional matchup, hugely important game. Titans at Dolphins. Not really a lot to say here other than it's going to be Derrick Henry versus that Dolphins run defense, which can be up and down. Packers at Giants. Not a lot to say here other than Packers fans want to keep sticking it to the Giants for what they did during the Aaron Rodgers tenure. Chiefs at Patriots. I don't think the Patriots are going to be very good aside from that defense. So it's really just Patrick Mahomes versus that secondary and that Bill Belichick scheme if you're interested in that. Christmas Day week 16 is Ravens versus Niners. Another Super Bowl rematch if you remember from when Beyonce took the lights out of the building and the Ravens won. And then Lions at Cowboys is week 17. Are these two teams fighting for the top of their division? Gonna have to wait till week 17 to see. And then week 18 will be a doubleheader but obviously they haven't been announced yet. They like to flex in really important games in week 18. So that's the Monday night schedule. Let me know what games you're looking for. Forward to. Let me know what games you think are underrated and thanks for watching. I appreciate it.